Welcome. The topic of this lesson is Simple equations involving one term denominators. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Understand what a term is. 2. Solve simple equations involving fractions with one term denominators. 3. Solve word problems involving simple algebraic fractions. Let us now learn what a term is. A term can be simply described as a number or variables such as x to y a squared b cubed etc. A fraction with a one term denominator is a fraction whose denominator is an algebraic expression with only one term. Examples include 1 over x 2 over x 3 over 2x squared, etc. Note An algebraic expression with only one term is called a monomial. For example, x, x squared, 3y squared are all monomials. Also, algebraic expressions with two terms are called binomials. Examples include x minus 2y, 3 is squared, plus 5b squared, etc. Now, let us solve some problems involving algebraic expressions with only one term denominators. Example 1. Simplify the following algebraic fractions. 1. 1 over x, plus 2 over x. 2. 1 over x, plus 1 over y. Solution. 1. 1 over x, plus 2 over x. Notice that both fractions have the same denominators, so we simply add up their numerators. So, 1 plus 2 over x equals 3 over x. 2. 1 over x plus 1 over y. To solve this, we find the equivalent of both fractions. To find the equivalent fraction of 1 over x, we multiply through by y, which gives us y over xy. And for 1 over y, we multiply through by x, which gives us x over yx. Now, the equivalent fractions have the same denominators, so we simply add up their numerators, and that gives us x plus y over yx. That's brilliant. Let us now solve some word problems. When solving word problems on simple equations involving fractions. 1. Find out what the unknown is. 2. Choose a letter to represent the unknown. 3. Rewrite the statements into an equation. And 4. Solve the problem. Let us see an example. Example 2. The weight of a certain group of boys is 1,200 kilograms. If the average weight is 30 kilograms, find the number of boys. Solution. Let the number of boys equals n. Total weight equals 1,200 kilograms. Average weight equals 1,200 over n. So, 30 equals 1,200 over n. Multiplying both sides by n, we have 30 times n equals 1,200 times n over n. n cancels n and leaves us with 30n equals 1,200. We then divide both sides by 30. Therefore, number of boys equals 40. That's beautiful. 
Now, pause this video, copy these assignments, and solve them in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. What a term is. 2. How to solve simple equations involving fractions with one term denominators. And 3. How to solve word problems involving simple algebraic fractions. I hope you enjoyed the class. See you in the next lesson. Thanks and goodbye.